Hi everyone, my name is Audrey and welcome to my channel. Today I have a very exciting announcement. following me for a while you know that I do end of the month reading rush challenges uh, which is basically me trying to rush read uh, my TBR for the end of the month so what I do is that I count the number of pages I have left of my TBR or like the books I want I'm trying to prioritize for that month and count the pages I have left to read to in order to finish those books and then I divide that number into seven days. So the last seven days of the month, I try to read that number of pages per day as a reading goal. And I usually really fail at those because uh, they're usually like very highly unattainable goals, but I find it very fun and I like to do them. So there's that. I usually uh, post on TikTok my updates uh, for those challenges and for the month of November it's my seventh edition of this challenge and I was trying to get my TBR ready for December and I've been planning on like what books I want to read by the end of the year and since December is the last month of the year I decided to go with a full month of reading rush challenge so I'm doing an end of the year reading rush challenge throughout the whole month of December and I'm so excited about it and I wasn't going to do much more than just like count the number of pages I have left for like my yearly TBR I guess but I was thinking last minute yesterday about some things I might want to do and then as I was trying to plan out my TikTok for that announcement I was thinking prompts bingo card and then I got myself carried away a tiny bit so there are prompts and a bingo card if you want to participate I pulled this together like very last minute so uh, I'm sorry for um, the very basic bingo card but it's fine I'll, I'll try to put it uh, put the image here somewhere but uh, basically you have four so it's a four by four card uh, because five by five was maybe a bit too much and I tried to put in prompts that are very broad and easy for a lot of people to get to and I also made some non reading prompts so that um, it's easy to fill up that grid if that makes sense and the goal is still to read as many books as possible or to finish our yearly reading challenges uh, reading goals for the year that's what we're trying to do here. So with that being said, I'm going to just explain all the prompts that I put up and I'll make a completely separate video for uh, my TBR for December, which is going to be hopefully filmed, edited and uploaded uh, very quickly. So prompt number one is to read a book that has been on your TBR for over a year. So I know I've bought some of my, my books on my TBR card that uh, I've bought like two, three years ago, but I haven't read yet. So any of those will work uh, for this prompt. Then we have read a recently published book that is self-explanatory. Number three is to read a short book. So what I consider a short book is a book under 300 pages. Prompt number four is to finish a series, trilogy, duology, whatever. But if you have like multiple books in a series. So the point of this one is just to make us finish some series and move on to some new stuff, which is something I've been trying to do all year. Prompt number five is to read more than uh, your daily reading goal. So if 
for example, your reading goal is to read 300 pages per day, then you need to read more than 300 pages that day in order to get that. And for prompt number six is to actually read less than your reading goal, which is going to be very easy for me to do. Prompt number seven is to read a holiday book since it's December, the end of the year. I thought it might be fun to add that prompt. Prompt number eight is to read a children's book. So it can be a picture book, a chapter book, or a middle grade, as long as it's targeted towards children, because these books tend to be very easy to read and they read quickly and it's just fun to read. I love to read picture books with my son and it's easy to get those done and get those books read for our yearly challenge. Prompt number nine is to read a book from your favorite genre. So it kind of is easier to read books from your favorite genre because they tend to be read faster and quicker. That's why I put it here as a prompt because again, the goal is to read as much as many books as possible to finish the year. Prompt number 10 is to read your oldest published book, if that makes sense. So the book that you own that has been published less recently, does that make sense? For example, I have uh, The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes, as well as um, A Christmas Carol. So those have been published like a very long time ago. And I did do a research like when these books first got published. And I believe Sherlock Holmes was in 1894. So obviously this edition isn't from that time. I count like the first edition and this one was in 1830 something. So this one is oldest. This one would count as my oldest published book. Does that make sense? Prompt number 11 is to read a book from a BIPOC author. Prompt number 12 is to read a book with diverse rep in it. It can be LGBTQ plus rep, it can be mental health rep, it can be any other disability rep, as long as there's like a specific rep in that book. Now we get to the last four prompts, which are non-reading prompts. Number 13 is to drink a hot beverage. Since it's winter, I want it to be cozy and to treat ourselves with comfort beverage. Number 14 is to eat comfort food. So same thing as 13, but with food. Prompt number 15, maybe a little bit controversial, but it is to listen to comfort music. So I know not a lot of people like to listen to music while they read. It can be ASM ASMR if you prefer, but just like setting the vibes and tones for something very comfy, cozy, and that makes you feel good. That counts. And the last prompt is to just participate in one of the end of the year Reading Rush Challenge Live sprints because yes I will be doing sprints for the end of the year challenge. I don't know exactly when I when I'm off I will be trying to do uh some day ones so that other people can participate not only like very early sprints that I do at three o'clock in the morning. I know not a lot of people can do those but I am going to try to do uh daytime ones especially towards the end of the month because I won't be working during the time and I don't have any time off until uh, our winter break. And I might try to add on some for Saturdays, but we'll see. I'll try to schedule them as much as possible. And if you subscribe and hit the bell, you will be hopefully able to get the notifications for when I go live. So there's that. And that is it for my end of the year Reading Rush challenge. I will be vlogging all of that and uh, giving you some reading updates. I'm so excited. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but I'm very excited for this. I think it's going to be fun and I wanted to do it a yearly thing and make it better next year because I just like put this together very last minute. And I'm sorry I didn't like have more time to give you uh, to adjust your TBRs if you want to participate. But uh, yeah, it, it was a very last minute thing. So hope it's still fun and I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for my actual TBR for the books um, I want to read by, by the end of the year. I will be putting that one up very soon. Hopefully I do need to do my bullet journal for that, um, but we'll see. 
uh, but I'll try uh, to put it uh, soon. On that note, if you want the bingo board, I will put the link to the card in the description below so you can download your own version and print it or whatever you want to do with it. It's fine. And if you have any questions about the end of the year reading rush challenge for 2022, you can put them in the comments. Like, subscribe if you wish, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified, especially for the live sprint, you'll be notified if you get that. And I will see you soon in the next one. Good luck to everyone. Bye!